Hey guys, have you heard? Something big is coming, and it could completely change the way we think about space exploration. SpaceX has just revealed some super secret images and plans for the Starship project. You won't believe your eyes. This time, they're not just launching and landing. They're making a breakthrough that will surprise even scientists. Curious? Don't take your eyes off the screen, because I'll reveal everything in this video. So what are you waiting for? Hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to stay up to date on the latest space race updates. SpaceX is making major improvements in preparation for Starship Flight 8. During the previous Flight 7, a serious incident occurred due to a leak in the booster structure, leading to an explosion and scattering of debris in the air. This has posed a major challenge for SpaceX in finding the cause and thoroughly fixing it to avoid a similar incident. Their focus is on increasing the durability and load-bearing capacity of important components especially the tail of Starship Block 2 which bears the greatest load during launch. Test Tank 16 has been transported to the Massey Test Facility for testing, including hardware upgrades to improve the load-bearing structure. SpaceX needed to conduct rapid testing to ensure that these changes were validated, not only to meet FAA requirements but also to maintain progress on Flight 8. This reflects SpaceX's signature, fail fast, fix faster, strategy which allows them to quickly identify and fix technical issues. Pressure testing with the Can Crusher 2.0 system. One of the key testing steps during this phase is pressure testing on test tank 16 using a device called the Can Crusher 2.0. This is a special system designed to create pressure to simulate the harsh conditions that Starship will endure during launch and re-entry. The Can Crusher works by applying intense pressure to the tank components to test their strength limits and find structural weaknesses. The new version of the Can Crusher has been upgraded with components such as holding arms and actuators. These changes are intended to increase the pressure on the bottom of Starship to evaluate the improvement of the Block 2 propulsion system. SpaceX even added a large, disc-shaped structure at the bottom of the Can Crusher to optimize the test pressure. If Test Tank 16 successfully passes this test, it will be a positive signal that allows SpaceX to move on to the next important testing steps such as engine assembly and static engine testing. Starlink Satellite Loading and Deployment System Flight 8 is not only a test of Starship's technical capabilities, but also marks an important step in making Starship an official space transport vehicle for SpaceX. To do that, SpaceX has designed a special Starlink Satellite Loading System, likened to a giant, PEZ dispenser. This system will automatically load and deploy Starlink satellites from the Starship storage compartment in space. What sets this system apart from traditional rockets is that it is permanently integrated into the Starship structure and cannot be disassembled. This allows SpaceX to optimize the process of transporting satellites in bulk. However, the integration of this system is facing some technical problems. During the installation process at High Bay, SpaceX had to use both large cranes, including a gantry crane and a mobile crane, boom crane, to complete the job. This loading and deployment system plays an important role in SpaceX's strategy to expand its Starlink satellite internet service, allowing them to quickly put a series of satellites into orbit in a single flight. If successful, it will help SpaceX achieve higher operating frequencies and significantly reduce the cost per satellite launch. An interesting point in the video is the comparison between the media coverage of SpaceX and Blue Origin. When Blue Origin, the company of billionaire Jeff Bezos, successfully launched its new Glenn rocket. The media was flooded with positive headlines praising the event. Jeff Bezos was depicted with emotion as he and his family watched the rocket reach orbit. Meanwhile, SpaceX received a contrasting response when Starship Flight 7 crashed. Headlines focused on the explosion and debris falling in the Caribbean, and some argued that the space industry should not rely on SpaceX. This shows a big difference in how the public views the two leading private space companies. This may be because SpaceX often experiments with risky new technologies, leading to incidents that are easy targets for criticism. In contrast, Blue Origin is more cautious with projects that attract less attention but are promoted positively. The video also introduces the Ground News tool, which helps viewers track and analyze news trends from multiple sources to get a comprehensive view and avoid being influenced by sensational articles. SpaceX is partnering with the local government of South Padre Island to build a $6.9 million pavilion to observe Starship launches at Starbase. The pavilion is expected to become an attractive destination for space enthusiasts, providing an ideal perspective to watch the entire Starship launch and landing process. The project is funded through a partnership between SpaceX, the U.S. government's Rescue Fund, American Rescue Plan Act, and Cameron County.
The construction of this facility not only serves the purpose of promoting SpaceX's image, but also brings economic benefits to the area, promoting tourism and creating opportunities for local people to participate in space science events. The project is scheduled to be completed in 8 to 12 months. In time for major launches later this year, this is a testament to SpaceX's commitment to developing the infrastructure to support commercial spaceflight at higher frequencies. Preparing for Flight 8 and competing boosters for Flight 9. After successful pressure tests on Ship 34 in mid-January, SpaceX has brought the ship to the manufacturing facility to prepare for engine installation for Flight 8. Booster 15, Ship 34's intended partner, completed testing in December and is currently undergoing maintenance in Mega Bay 1. This flight is scheduled for February 24 at the earliest and is crucial to the development of the Starship program. Meanwhile, SpaceX has already planned for Flight 9 and is considering two booster options. Booster 14, although reused after the January 16 landing, needs further testing to ensure it is airworthy. On the other hand, Booster 16 is currently in production but has not completed pressure testing. If SpaceX wants to keep up the pace, they can prioritize Booster 14, but Booster 16 still has a chance if it can participate in important tests in time. The race between these two boosters shows the continuous improvement in SpaceX's reused technology. Each successful flight helps the company shorten turnaround times and get closer to the goal of performing frequent flights. Minimizing the cost per launch, this is also an important premise for SpaceX to move towards interplanetary missions. Bringing people and cargo to the Moon and Mars, SpaceX has made a number of significant upgrades to the Pad B launch tower, including the successful installation of the traveling block for the booster support and capture system. This is a key part of the hoisting system typically used in the oil and gas industry, but modified by SpaceX for space purposes. The traveling block consists of pulleys designed to raise, lower, and capture boosters as they return from space. The latest upgrade is that the block now has seven cable loops instead of the previous five, increasing its payload capacity. While this slows down the operation, it is essential as SpaceX prepares for flights with larger payloads. The tower will support and stabilize the giant rockets during launch and landing ensuring the safety and efficiency of operations at Starbase. The upgrade reflects SpaceX's long-term strategy of building infrastructure to support an ever-increasing launch frequency. Stoke Space and the Zenith Engine, SpaceX's new rival. As SpaceX continues to lead the space industry, another private company, Stoke Space, is emerging as a potential rival. Stoke Space, known for its bold designs, is developing the Zenith Engine, a full-flow staged combustion engine similar to SpaceX's Raptor. Stokes' highlight is that they combined this engine with a hybrid aerospike, a new concept that has caused a stir in the aerospace engineering world. With the success of engine tests in December at its Washington facility, Stokes Space has shown that it has the potential to become a major player in the new space race. Its Nova rocket project, equipped with seven Zenith engines, is a big step forward for a company that is only four years old. Stoke represents a new generation of private space companies that are trying to compete with established names like Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman by focusing on technological innovation and developing performance-optimized solutions. NASA and the Viper Lunar Rover Project NASA's Viper Lunar Rover Project is part of a larger Artemis program effort to explore and exploit resources on the Moon. The rover, whose full name is the Volatiles Investigating Polar Exploration Rover, is designed to search for and study water ice deposits in the lunar south polar region. Water ice not only plays a role in sustaining life, but is also a vital fuel source for long-term operations, such as generating oxygen and hydrogen for space missions. Although the mission initially ran into budgetary constraints, NASA decided to seek a private partner to send Viper to the moon. The rover is complete at the Johnson Space Center and is now awaiting a suitable transportation solution. This is a key strategy for NASA to combine public and private resources to optimize costs and accelerate space missions. If successful, Viper will be the first large rover to operate on the moon since the Apollo era, opening the door to developing infrastructure for future permanent bases. SpaceX is making space exploration a reality step by step with remarkable technological advances. From improving the landing system for Super Heavy to preparing for the Starship Flight 8 test, all show their boundless ambition. If successful, this will be an important milestone that will change the way we explore space in the future. What do you think about these advances by SpaceX? Can they soon complete the goal of sending humans to the moon and Mars? Leave your comments in the comment section below, and don't forget to like.
subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss the latest news.